What's going on, Pokemon Trainers? This is Trainer Connor 100, and it's time for a Pokemon battle video today. Thank you guys for coming to this video. I know it's been a hot minute. I've been dealing with life, school, and COVID at the moment, so bear with me on that. Happy New Year, and for those who are still subscribed to the channel, thank you for watching my content and all that. It means a lot for my channel. Anyways though, today's battle is a Gen 9 OU match that I had on Showdown. And a lot of these Pokemon I have in my Violet version, but Showdown is easier. A lot of my friends and I are doing Showdown matches. Just for the fun of it, it fits the bill. You know what I'm saying? So anyways though, we have a Swords Dance Cerulean so here with Butter Blade. Uh, we have an offensive Azumarill without Belly Drum. It has Protect for scouting purposes. And let's talk about Cloud Sire for a second. That Pokemon has been growing increasingly well for me. It's a specially defensive build with spikes and toxic spikes with Earthquake for chip damage. Um, we have a Protean Meow Skirana with a Muscle Band and a Nasty Plot Lucario with Vacuum Wave and Terrasalizing Dark, which I'll probably change that to ground because it I think it fits better. We'll try it out and see what happens in this battle uh, with Dark, but next time it could be ground. And Choice Scarf Ditto in the back end there. Now you see my opponent has a lot of threats, but I don't know what they're running, so let's start the match here. He starts off with Grim Ninja, and he goes straight for the Ice Punch on my Claw Strider. Super effective, but I know I can live it because of how bulky it is. We go for a layer of spikes on that first turn there, because I noticed a lot of his Pokemon are grounded, minus the, uh, well, because Toxic Spice won't work with the Moongus lying around, but, you know, it is the way it is. So I go for the switching to Thrill Edge. I could have gone for Swords Dance, because I knew the switching to Skeletor's is painfully obvious. But anyways, I do go for the Better Blade. It does a little bit of damage to the Skeletor. I go into a Zumbrella, expecting him to go for his own Fire-type attack, or Shadow Ball, I don't know. Uh, he goes for Protect, uh, Zumerl does, just to scout. I go back into Cloud Sire, expecting him to go for Spore, or maybe Sludge Bomb, I don't know. At the time, I figured it would be Sludge Bomb, but, you know, Cloud Sire is great, because it just walls Amoongus, even though Giga Drain might be super effective, or neutral, because it is ground type with poison. It could be neutral, I don't know. I'm still learning the new types of these Pokemon here. Um, I do wake up there, which is great, because I can go for a cover. As he goes back into Greninja, uh, I expected him to overpredict, so I stay in. And he goes into Goldengo, which is a really popular Pokemon. I need to train one of these. Now, he does have Nasty Plot of his own there. He goes for it. I forgot that he had the air balloons. That was a misclick on my part. My bad. I'm okay with him setting up here because I do have Ditto in the back end there. Because I can just go into it and then copy his stats and I can outspeed him because I have a choice scarf. Now you can see just how bulky the quad star is and the fact that it has unaware as well. So that, that really just works out. I need to sacrifice a Pokemon here because, like, I don't want Goldengo just sitting there and going for Nasty Plot and wrecking my team. So I figured, hey, let's sacrifice a Zumerl and revenge kill it with my own Goldengo because I copy him and we can just KO him right back. So take that. Now he goes into Greninja. I didn't know if he was Scarf or not until I find out here. He is Scarf, but I will outspeed. Well, <laughs> not really, but you know, I, I revenge kill him with my Shadow Ball there. I have locked in on it. He goes into Iron Shreds, which, you know, he should have done that on the that initial turn without sacrificing Greninja like that. He thought he could knock me out with it, but that's not the case. So Iron Shreds is here. Uh, I figured he would go for Rapid Spin. That's fine. I go for Earthquake for some chip damage, and he just KOs me. Uh, I wanted to keep Ditto around, because, again, Iron Shreds is pretty much walled. You know, he walls my Golgango there. Um, now is the time I can go into Lucario and go for Nasty Plot. 
and go for my terrestrializing Terra Blast right here. I'm kind of disappointed by the damage output there. However, uh, now Torch Song, even though it's, you know, Lucario is weak to fire, but when you terrestrialize like that, you lose that typing. So Torch Song is pretty neutral, I would say. So we go for Flash Cannon, he goes into Skill Gurge, he's making some round plays right here. <laughs> Which is fine, I could go for another Flash Cannon, Skill Gurge is not very fast. Now he goes into Quackerville, another starter Pokemon, I go for Vacuum Wave, that is a priority move. I'm gonna put some damage onto it, uh, I do lose Lucario, but as long as I put some damage onto it, that's great, cause then I can go into, I guess I could have gone into, um, Ditto and copy his stats, but I wanted to use Neoscarada. Bluff I have a choice band, but I don't I have a muscle band. I go for U-turn. I go against the real edge here. Great play there, of course, because we are super effective. Two of his Pokemon are super effective because we had the uh, Moondis and Iron Treads. I could have gone for Sword Stance, but going for that offensive move would be better, in my opinion. I go for Shadow Seek, it is a critical hit, but it doesn't KO it, which is kind of unfortunate. What can you do though? But that's fine, he does have Mossy. I have Ditto, it doesn't matter, I can outspeed it. And he only has Amoongus, so that means locking in on Ice Spinner would be the appropriate move, and that is going to seal the battle right here, right now, because Ice Spinner is super effective on Amoongus. So yeah, this was a great battle. I win this one 2-0 or 6-4, if you want to put it that way. It was a little bit fast-paced. Uh, I haven't battled in a long while, so it was great to get that win there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Gen 9 OU battle. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next battle. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everybody.